Hello and welcome to the programme. Now, every year, various estimates suggest there are nearly 8,000 new orphans and kids without parental guardianship here in Ukraine. Now, the main causes are hard marital circumstances of parents, uh, drinking and drugs, violent behaviour with children and others as well. And if it is impossible to preserve the biological family, uh, the UN Convention on the Rights of the Child states adoption as a priority for the child's well-being. Now, I'm pleased to say to talk more about this topic, we're joined in the studio today by Stanislav Kutsenko, head of the Kiev Territories Justice Department. Hello, thank you so much for coming in. Hello. So firstly, can you tell us about, uh, for our audience who are not so sure about this uh, particular topic, about the rights of uh, these orphans who are adopted? What sort of rights do they have? First of all, all children in Ukraine, like all over the world, they have a right to have good level of life mm. and uh, because of this they need to be uh, in family because mm. the family is the most right uh, place for children to be um, to be a part of normal society mm. because we have now the idea in ukraine to get rid of orphanages and make all conditions for children to be parts of families mm. yeah. so which rights rights to do they have first of all they have right for normal food mm. for normal dwelling and these are main uh, cases when a uh, mm, spouse uh, is checked by the government mm. whether uh, they have possibility to adopt the child. Mm. According to legislation of Ukraine, a um, child can be adopted from two months old. Yeah. And uh, the adopter should be 21 years old, but uh, if uh, the adopt, uh, adoptive parent is um, like a member of family, yeah. it can be done earlier. The difference in ages between child and uh, adoptive parent should be 15 years. Mm. So actually, for example, if child is two months old, then in this case, uh, starting from 15 years, yeah. uh, the citizen of Ukraine or sometimes foreigner, can adopt such child. Yeah, and I, I was actually reading an interesting um, article on another Ukrainian uh, outlet, and they were outlining uh, these particular things that you're, you're talking about, and it's a fairly standard procedure, and all the checks and balances appear to be in place, and the whole procedure uh, from the start of the application to the finish uh, for, on average, takes about three to four months, which is um, a good period of time. Some people might say that's long, but actually, if, if someone's adopting a child, this is actually sort of a, a good time to go through all this procedure. So um, can you tell us, um, do you think that um, the, uh, I mean, are there checks from the legal side, are there checks once these orphans are adopted to make sure that they're being looked after carefully? Is there a sort of a, a legal framework for this? So actually two questions. Uh, mm. First, it's procedure how to adopt a child yeah. and second, how uh, the situation of child is checked in the family. Mm. So let's start from first one, the procedure. First of all, the spouse, uh, marriage couple, they need to um, uh, give evidences that they have all conditions for a child to be in good um, conditions, in good mood, in uh, uh, other um, possible variants that is may make it convenient he, uh, he, his or her life. So is this where they're living, for yes. example? Yes. Uh, the, uh, their working statu status, their material status, mm. uh, the place where do they live, mm. and um, for example, uh, don't they have any problems with drugs and alcohol? Mm. Also, people who are not competent in, uh, and they have problems with law, they cannot be such uh, adoptive parents for, for a child. And these are restrictions that are provided by the uh, legal system of Ukraine. Yeah. Because children need to be in normal conditions to have good uh, development and uh, good future, let's mm. say. And second issue about uh, the... Um, situation with adoption your second question was about yeah about the checks once they yes. are adopted are there any sort of l legal requirements yes. for the social services for the social services yes yeah. social services uh, should check in which conditions does uh, such child live so mm. they need to understand uh, the um, education uh, do they go to ch uh, kindergarten or to school mm. uh, do they eat normally uh, they need to see that uh, such child is um, being um, served in local hospital, mm. in local clinic, to understand what is, uh, which is uh, health condition of such a child. And it should be done on a regular basi basis. Mm. But also such social services should react on um, some uh, applications of uh, neighbors or of police mm. that, there are, uh, that there is information that condition
conditions of development of chi child is not so good. Mm. In this case, uh, so uh, social services should react. They work in every district. So mm. if take Kiev, for example, there are yeah. 10 such uh, social services for child in, uh, also in every district of Ukraine. And uh, these uh, are their direct obligations, according to law, to check mm. the conditions of um, development and uh, other status of uh, child. And how does it work for foreigners who perhaps uh, adopt Ukrainian children and take them back to, say, America or Europe? How can those checks be enforced? Is there... Uh, can that fall under Ukrainian legislation or, or not really? Was that a bit more difficult? For sure, we have agreements with foreign countries mm. on cooperation and uh, we check together with them the conditions of child. Mm. For sure, foreigners have uh, rights to adopt uh, children here in Ukraine. Mm. And uh, the procedure is much easier if a uh, foreigner is relative of such a child. For example, oh, right. stepbrother or, uh, let's say, um, cousin or yeah. other uh, related And they must have the Ukrainian documents to prove that there is some family connection. Yes, it can be checked through state registry of on civil status acts. Mm. Uh, uh, by the way, such registry is run by Ministry of Justice. Yeah. And we can check all the family connections of such a child. Mm. Also, it is possible for foreigner to um, become, uh, uh, let's say, a parent, to have mm. a right of parents for, for such a child, but it should be done through court. Ah, okay. So, uh, such person uh, can be recognized as father or mother, for example. Yeah. For sure, uh, we need uh, the will of child as well, because child uh, should give uh, his or her position yeah, of on, course. I mean, on, that's yes. pretty expected. Expected, yes. Yeah. And also, child need to give agreement on mm. changing of name. Because mm. if we take father's name yeah. and last name, it is it can be changed automatically. Ah, right. Because child has new parent, yeah. new father, mm. and that's why uh, father's name can be changed. But name should be changed on, only on will of child. So this all has to be done sort of officially, partly through the courts and partly through the justice ministry? And, and so it, it, uh, it can be done through court mm. because uh, uh, such spouse or uh, person uh, need to go to court to have such decision mm. to adopt the child. And it's the only way how to do this. Uh, do you have any statistics uh, from the Kiev region where you work um, particularly about um, the, the number of uh, children who have perhaps faced these sort of problems of their rights being violated and how many investigations there have been, that sort of thing? We have statistics of Ministry of Social Policy. Mm. There are uh, nearly 70,000 uh, uh, ch children who are in the registry of um, orphanages and uh, um, children who need uh, to be adopted. Mm. Actually, only 8% of such child, they don't have parents. Yeah. So in 92% uh, uh, cases, uh, there are um, parents, but they have problems with law, mm. with drugs, with alcohol, or they just don't have a uh, possibility to, um, to, to, to make life uh, of uh, children good yeah. because they don't have money and material status is not so good. Mm. But actually, uh, uh, through 2018, uh, nearly 1,700 uh, children were adopted. Mm. So the system works. And also some foreigners also adopt people, children. Yeah. And can you tell us a bit more about the legislation in terms of what defines an orphan? Because I read some interesting statistics um, before we started the interview that said that um, I think it was between 2007 and 2018. I could be wrong, but I think it was 2007 to 2018. Uh, the number of adoptions fell, but the, um, but the number of children sort of rose, the number of orphan children rose. So is that partly because the legal definition of orphan has changed somewhat. Are there some children who are perhaps orphans, but they come under a different category or an undefined category? You know, uh, legislation on uh, orphans and uh, children is very tricky mm. because you are, you are uh, right that uh, according to some terms, uh, it's possible to make statistics quite different. Well, exactly. Yes. yes. Yeah. But uh, you need to understand that Minister of Justice, uh, we and uh, Department of Justice, we don't um, have such statistics mm. on people, we, uh, on children who are yeah. orphanage. But actually, I can tell that uh, there are some restrictions for people who, uh, who cannot be uh, adoptive parents. Mm. As I told you, there are uh, the ones who are not non-competent or they have decision on court that they cannot um, c contact with such yeah. children. 
also people that don't have parents' right for such children, uh, that they uh, that have uh, um, sentence in court, mm. they cannot be parents of children. Yeah. And uh, main uh, point here that uh, child should live in normal conditions. But the, but, um, the question is from the uh, side of the child, um, who defines them as uh, under the law as an orphan? Who, uh, whose ministry is responsible for this? Is there a Ministry of Social Policy. Ah, okay, fair yes. enough. Um, okay, well, thank you very much for coming thank to the studio, too. and it was, it was a pleasure to have you. Thank you very much. Thanks. That was Stanislav Kutsenko, head of the Kiev Territories Justice Department. Thank you for watching, and stay tuned for more here on UAE TV.